Libby here, back today with our current favourite things I'm loving video. Just excuse the mess, <laughs> not the dog, the mess. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, I was trying to do these like seasonally, so I should have done like an autumn one, but I've missed that. And I thought rather than do that, because I think people get put off like um, if you're overseas for most of the world and they're currently in summer. I don't want to watch an autumn or winter favourites. And obviously a lot of products, it doesn't for us here in Australia particularly, because it's so mild, it doesn't really matter, things get used all year round. So I thought what I'll just do is a current favourite, and this will be my June current favourite video. And every so often, every couple of months, when I think my favourites have sort of changed, whether it's seasonally or I've just found a whole lot of new stuff, I'll do another current favourite things I'm loving video. I don't know if you can hear the bird. Hopefully not, because he's making a racket out there at the minute. <laughs> So I'm going to start with um, shower products. So I've just got two shower products to show you. Um, I have a range of body washes in my shower and pretty much love them all. But a particular new favourite has been this one from Bath & Body Works, which is Twilight Woods. Really nice. Um, what does it smell like? What a nice yummy, like a lolly kind of scent. <laughs> Apricot Nectar, Mimosa Petals and Tuscan Cypress. I'm supposed to... The warm woods of a twilight but i think it smells like a lolly anyway it smells yummy so i really really enjoying that i have no idea whether it's still available or not in bath and body works i don't know because i've had that for a year <laughs> um i just got to it now and my other new favorite bath product shower product is this kiss my face shower kiss my face shaving lotion i guess it's um this is cool mint they do have some other different scents and i've just re i'm just ordering another one of these and i've just decided to get one of the other new scents as well because they're like i don't know about six dollars they're not i don't think they're very dear but this is it it comes in the pump i think the new packaging from iherb is different when i was looking at the website the other day but i find this fabulous i think it's a really really good shave i've been using the gillette um pump thing forever but I don't really like the Gillette company, so I've been looking for an alternative. The other one I was using, which I might have recommended last time, was quite good, but this is better. Um, the other one you had to put it on, lather it up before you got wet. This one you can hop in the shower, you can wet your legs, then you can put it on and it's instant. You don't have to wait around for this to do its job. And it just seems to work. My legs seem to be quite moisturized afterwards, so I really do recommend this a shaving lotion because it's not really cream, I guess. I don't know what they call it. Um, really, really happy with it. And of course, there's no animal testing, which is the most important thing to me. So, yeah, you can get this from iHerb. So that was sort of my two shower standout products. All the rest, you know, my shampoo and conditioner. You've seen a million times. There's nothing else that stood out as a particular favourite for the month. So I'll move on to some skincare. I have been loving my new Dr. Llewellyn's, is it? Lou. Lewins? Dr. Lewins? <laughs> um, night cream, really nice, really happy with this formula. Nice smell, and you might recall I've been looking for a new uh, good night cream. So, yep, really happy with that. And I always use this one first. <laughs> this is the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil, which I still absolutely love. I said that this and the Cora Rosehip Oil would be my favourite. Uh, I think this is uh, this too, and I think there's a Rosehip Oil Axi Antioxidant Plus. I don't know what the difference is. One's got extra things in it. This might be the one with the extra stuff in it. But again, I think the packaging has changed. I was looking today at them because they're on sale at Priceline. They're 30% off the Trilogy stuff, and I was nearly going to get another one, but I just started this bottle. I thought, no, oh, I don't need to get another bottle as of yet. So. Really, really like this. I use this morning and night before I put my moisturiser on. And I think it really does help my skin just to look that bit more radiant and keep it nice and moisturised. I've done all these backwards and now I'm up to cleansers. <laughs> so I'm doing things really backwards today. This I got in a sample box. It's Ruby Fresh Cleansing Oil. Now, I never thought to use a cleansing oil, but after seeing the success or having the success with the rosehip oil, I thought, okay, I'm going to try the cleansing oil, and I really do like it. Um, yeah, it doesn't make your skin oilier. It's so funny. You would 
think that, but my skin's just the same. It's just softer, I think, than it's been before, but certainly not oilier. I haven't had breakouts or anything like that. So I just use that, massage it in, and then I just use a wet um, face washer to wipe it off. And obviously, your skin's still quite moist and it might feel a little bit oily then, but then I go and apply the rose seed oil over the top anyway, so <laughs> it's, um, it doesn't matter. So I really like that, and I've actually managed to somehow get another sample of this, but I possibly will look to rebuy this or have a look at some other cleansing oils. And I did see, I think Sanctuary have one, or Dr. Lewins might have one, which was in price line today, and I was having a sticky beat, but I refrained from buying anything because I didn't need it as yet. But yep, highly recommend in particular, this Ruby Fresh Cleansing Oil, but unfortunately, I don't know where you can get it from. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Last in the facial um, facial care range is, I'm pretty sure I had this in my summer favourites, is the Sanctuary um, Deep Cleanse Facial. It's a heat one, or they call it a thermal detox mask. So nice. It's like, yeah, it's like a clay charcoal charcoal treatments so and they put on it's like a gray color um and but i like this because it's nice and warm so it feels lovely on your skin and you can have it on for five minutes where so many masks recommend you know 10 to 15 minutes so i put this one on today after i'd had my shower and then i went moisturized my skin and perfumed and deodorized and i should have brushed my teeth but i forgot this morning so <laughs> because i was out of routine so do all that sort of stuff why it waiting for your five masks or you could go lie down and have a breast for your five minutes and then and then wash it off and continue on with your routine so really really love this really nice okay i got one hair thing so we'll do that this is the giovanni root 66 volume maximum volume directional hair root lifting spray well that's a mouthful so again this is from iherb um i saw it recommended by pink so foxy and i thought i'd get it and try it out and i think it does work my hair looks a bit flatter now but it just sort of gives that little lift there which if i'm not using i don't get um and i've lost i think about half my hair with the low iron levels half my hair's fallen out so it still might look like it's quite thick but to me it feels really thin because i honestly think i've lost about half of it seems to have stopped now thankfully but this just really helps give me that more <laughs> hair look that I'm used to having. I've got a little tiny bit of makeup so I'm still loving my Natio foundation which is this medium coverage one really love that and I have light honey sometimes I think maybe I need more but I really don't think I do this with a bit of powder over the top just seems to just I don't have a lot of blemishes so um, I know Athena found the medium wasn't quite full coverage enough for her, so we bought her the full coverage one, and she's happy with that. But um, my skin's pretty clear, just the odd blemish. So, yep, love that. Definitely recommend it. Really good value for money, I think, and it's a nice product. And I've been using the um, Real Techniques sponge with that, and that seems to give a really nice application. So, like that too, little sponge. Again, I've got that from iHerb cheapest place to buy those sort of things for us uh, I haven't got a lot of other makeup eyeshadow I've been doing different eyeshadow every day I've just got my hands on the Naked Palette 3 so you might see that next time around still loving my Catrice eyebrow pencil that I got in Germany I'm going to be devastated whenever this one's out but <laughs> it's just the perfect color for me I think I'll be asking one of my German subscribers to try and grab me one and again a forever favorite is flashy taupe sephora eyeliner pencil this is that much my spare one so i'm a bit concerned because <laughs> i absolutely love that again i'll probably have to ask someone to buy it for me because they're two products i don't think i could live without now and i don't know if i could find an exact sort of a, a same color here in australia uh i've got a little face of australia blush in primrose really nice and these are really good value for money they're not very expensive and I find this is a really nice blush I've actually got it on today I don't know if you can still see any of it or not I'm hopeless at applying blush so I need one that's sort of quite light but this I think it's a really pretty color and certainly suits my coloring and it's a nice little it'd make a great little travel one as well but it's been my favorite blush of late 
So I've got just two lip colours to show you. You would have seen the one I'm wearing in my last haul and it's become like an instant favourite. And this is from Essence. It's um, Wear Berries, number nine. Perfect colour for autumn and winter here, but still giving colour. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love it. Beautiful colour for this time of year when you're wearing some yeah, darker colours. And this is the Natio Lip um, Gloss in Serene. So I've been like to a very nice neutral colour, just for sort of a lighter, more neutral. <laughs> yeah, so that lighter, more neutral coloured lip. So I've been really liking that. And that goes really nice over some of the, the lip crayons that I've got too, if you want to just to tone down the colour. Perfumes. One thing I do like is when you get to the cooler weather, which finally in the last two weeks it has cooled down a bit. I can, you know, I've been wearing my winter perfumes anyway, but the perfumes that I wouldn't really wear in the summer, but I love to get them out. So this is Katy Perry Killer Queen, gorgeous bottle. I bought this for myself for my Christmas stocking, <laughs> so, but I really love it. But even though I got it at Christmas, I do think it's more of a, a cooler weather scent. So I really love that. And my beloved Roberto Cavalli. So again, it's not a scent I would wear in. Definitely, um, again, more cooler, wind, cool, cooler scent. But I really, I love that one. That's probably my absolute favourite perfume. As you can see, I've gone through the half a bottle. Um, yeah, and I've got the Aqua version as well, and it's nice, but not quite as nice as this one. I should have probably done this when I did, did um, shower stuff, but just the Taraco and I think I might pronounce it wrong. I think my Taraco. I'm not sure. Let's say Taraco because it does actually have an O rather than an A. <laughs> Taraco Orange, Eucalyptus and Sage, Body Souffle. I should say this in my empties because this one is empty. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Absolutely love this and I have got another one on the go. So that's my absolute favourite Crabtree and Evelyn scent. Absolutely love it. And particularly the body lotions are nice and they've got the pumps that are nice and easy to use, but the souffles are just that much richer. And they are more expensive, but sometimes you can get them on sale. They often have 30% off sales, even at David Jones or in store. And that's when I bought my new one when they had 30% off store wide sale. So look out for those sales because they make things a lot more affordable. And in line, when I did my Crabtree and Evelyn haul, you would have seen recently. I also bought the hand cream and I've been romping through that. Absolutely loving having this back in my life because <laughs> I haven't had this hand cream for a while. But just love the Tuoco one. And actually all the new scents are really nice too, but definitely my favourite. Um, I'm going to smell this one as well. <laughs> oh, lovely. So I've been using this a lot, but it absorbs really well. So if you're still picking up cups of tea and using your keyboard like I usually am, it dries really quick and doesn't leave your hands sticky and, and moist and slippery for ages. A couple of nail polishes, as you would expect from me. So obviously we've transitioned from the summer the bright and the hot pinks and all the bright colours and the pastel colours and we're now into the sort of um, richer, darker um, tones, a lot more um, jewel tones I think is what I've gone for this year. So this one, another one from Germany, it's a Catrice Petrop Petropolitan, so absolutely loving that one still and I'll put a little photo here so you can see what it looks like on. I have no idea whether you'd be able to pick this up anywhere, but I really love that colour. Nothing like it. It's got that little hint of blue shimmer in it. This one I bought and I was wearing in the autumn. This kind of, I think this colour you could wear, in, wear year round. This is the Lagoon by P Picture Polish, which is my favourite Australian brand. Absolutely love their colours. And another one by Picture Polish is a new one I got called Hussy, which I think is a great colour for the winter time. Still nice and bright, but more, more winter suitable. And a very similar colour, but it does look very different on the nails. And this is an OP Susie in the Seven Dusseldorfs. And I absolutely love that. This might be my all over favourite winter polish. If I had to pick just one winter polish to have, it would probably be that one. Lots of candles. <laughs> this is just one. Um, 
I don't know how a favourite because I've only ever got like one of. But I've been lighting lots of candles. Um, as the weather's cooled down, I've had the house closed up more. And just a little bit of jewellery. Obviously my Tinkerbell necklace that I got for Mother's Day from Christy has been uh, worn a lot since I got it. So that would definitely be a recent favourite. And if I'm not wearing that one, I won't say longer, it's usually this Tree of Life one that I bought on holidays in the summer. And it says, you'll see, happiness is a journey, not a destination. My blog and previously the title of my YouTube channel was Life is a Journey, Not a Destination. It's my favourite quote. So I, obviously I had to buy that necklace when I saw it. And it's a nice long one, as you can probably <laughs> see. So they're the sort of, I haven't been wearing a lot of jewellery. Again, still not being well. I haven't been out and about in the land of the living too much. Just a couple of food favourites of late. Cool. This one's actually empty because that's how much of a favourite it was. And this is Matchets, the goddess, it's a Greek salad dressing. Comes from South Australia, so for any of you guys that live in South Australia, I don't know I have any viewers in South Australia, but um, I've actually got, I bought it from the, Old bus depot markets in Canberra. Tried to get some when we were down there recently, some more, and they're out of stock. So I'm going to get online and order some more of that because I absolutely love it. Not sure how we can see the ingredients there, but uh, really good ingredients. Um, so I don't know if you can see it or not. So it's olive oil, lemon juice, honey, tahini, um, lemon puree, garlic, salt, and pepper. So really good healthy ingredients and that is a really I don't really like oil based salad dressings usually as you go for hummus or mayonnaise or creamy dressings like ranch dressing would be my ultimate favorite uh, I don't have it of course but anymore but it would be my favorite but this I loved so I'm looking forward to getting some more of that if anyone in Australia happens to know anywhere else to buy it let me know but I've never seen it anywhere else but they do have their website which is matchitproductions.com and they have some other salad dressings available too. The delivery is quite dear, which is why I'd hope to buy it down the markets again. But it's worth it. I really enjoyed it. So I'm definitely going to get some more. And of course, being cooler weather. Not that it really makes any difference for me because I drink tea all year round. But of course, I had to share some favourite tea. So the first one I've got is from Harney and Sons. Ordered from iHerb again. And it is their organic peppermint. I try to buy loose leaf teas wherever I can because I prefer that. Oh, this is my second tin of this. I uh, absolutely love it. It's a beautiful peppermint flavoured tea. Obviously it's called peppermint but it's really really nice. Love that and it's organic too so that's nice. Uh, not too sure about fair trade. Ideally I like to buy fair trade teas too but neither of these ones I'm showing you are as far as I'm aware. This other one comes from tea too. And it is gorgeous geisha. And it's a green tea with strawberries. It's one of the luscious flavours of strawberries and cream. So it's got freeze-dried strawberry pieces and flavour. So ingredient-wise, not as good as the peppermint tea, but I have, you know, not too many of these. Oh, so nice. This is, a, this is actually a nice sort of summery one as well, but I, I had a cup the other day. I hadn't had it for a while, but um, it has been a favourite. So... One day I'll have to share all my favourite teas with you, but that will be a rather long video, no doubt. So, anyway, that's... Oh, one more favourite? Two, actually. My Lululemon headbands. Been still loving them. Um, as I said, I've had some hair issues in the last few months. And if I'm having a bad hair day, these headbands are great. <laughs> just for keeping my hair neat and tidy. And they're also great when I'm working out too. So, really... Love these. They're not cheap, but I think they are a really good quality headband. And for me, they sit really nice and, you know, are nice and comfortable as well. One last favourite, because the, even though our days have only just gotten cold, the early mornings have been cold for, you know, probably six or so weeks. And I get up very early in the morning, four or five o'clock usually. So I have needed my dressing gown. So it's just a nice fluffy sort of polar fleece dressing gown, I guess it is. No, it's not polar fleece. No, just a lovely fluffy cozy dressing gown. I've had it for a few years now. The brand is Soho. I think it might have come from David Jones, but I can't even remember now. 
I said, I think Soho is a David Jones brand. David Jones or Maya, one of those. I'm pretty sure it's David Jones, but a, a year or two ago. So it's really nice and cosy. And I love it in the mornings <laughs> when it's cold. Um, that is my current favourites for June, um, which happens to be winter here in Australia. But that's, they're all things I'm enjoying at the minute. And I think probably for the most part, except for perhaps nail polishes, everything, and the perfumes, everything could be pretty much universal anyway. It wouldn't matter when they were used. So I hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions about anything, please let me know. And if you want to share some of your current favourites below, please let me know. Especially if you can get them at iHerb for you guys in America, because I can buy them then. So obviously a lot of things we can't get, but um, as far as makeup and skincare, we can get most of that stuff. But I, as you all know, like to buy probably free stuff. So that's it. I'll talk to you next time.